Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of Voidiger. We are back again and we have quite a lot of currency here. So I'm going to just quickly make sure there's no other little doors to open and then just go ahead and uh, buy everything for all the characters, I guess. Because uh, I guess that's what we can do at this point. Jump in here. Um, how much is this? Eight. Go for it. Skip the animations. Just buy everything for all the characters. Why not? With a back buckler. Back shield, Carcamus posterior enjoys nice. Defense. Okay, so we got all the stuff for this guy now. We should be able to afford pretty much everything for every one, I think. Oh, that's my little pet. I don't want to do my pet yet. Go in here. Grab that, whatever that is. Grab that. Good, it should be nice to have some variety. To choose from with uh, how we start our runs, which will be nice. I've not even unlocked this building for you yet. Okay, a fair enough. Blend of science and serve. Fair enough. Emerging. Right, crack that open. I like the extra passive item you get. It's nice that you get a few weapon choices and a few passive item choices. Of space rests on your fingertips. Go. And then one more guy who we might be able to afford everything for, but I'm not sure. Let's see how it goes. Thank you. And just a few weapons now. Drifting borrowed winds, We've got enough for three weapons here, so I'm hoping he only has three weapons to buy. Ahaha, you see? <laughs> I've unlocked it all, baby. I've unlocked it all. Right. Now we need to decide who I actually want to play as. Oh, wait. No, I've not quite unlocked it all. I've unlocked almost it all. I didn't see you down here. Grab that scythe. I didn't really get good at the planty boy, so maybe I'll play the plant boy again. Or plant girl, should I say. I don't know, she's... It looks like it's wearing a dress, but... It, and long hair, but could very well be a boy as well. I don't know, do I? I don't know what people want to do with their lives. Anyways, let's, let's jump in here. Let's, um... Let's go as this one again, and then we can we can see what's what. So we get this melee block, um, melee slash block while sprinting to dash. Okay. Um, and then pot pile. The pot pile wasn't really good, so we'll go with the bristler. I was jumping for another run. I might up the difficulty soon. I'm not quite sure. I'm just gonna flip my fan on real quick because it's quite warm in here right now. Glam like creatures licking the ground. Peaceful. Better than most. Oh, so that, there's our dash look. Boom. A little pollen dash. That I didn't really take advantage of last time, if I remember correctly, so my apologies. But we now know what we're doing with it. It gives us a little indication of when it's ready as well, which is rather nice. Here we get a weapon straight off the bat here as well, which is good. The gloob flat glaive. Gloob gate? Gloob kill. Goop glove? Goop glove. I have a glaive. Oh my god. That thing hits hard. Holy shit. I also took a lot of damage there. So this is the thing that I can dash through, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So that, that, like, last time I just didn't utilize that, like, at all. Oh, dude. Almost just died. Is this weapon good or not? I can't tell. That seems kind of interesting. Seems like my other weapon was better, but... Seems interesting, at least. Oh, dude. Died straight away. No, I didn't. I somehow survived that hit. I am very surprised. This hand thing seems amazing. God damn, I like it. What? Dash straight through there. Do you know what? Get rid of the bristle straight away. <laughs> I'm risking it for some HP. Or, um, the Vercaliber. I'll take that, why not? The Vercaliber. Let's see what this thing does, shall we? I'm intrigued in a new gun. I've been doing a lot of melee runs recently, so I'm kind of feeling guns right now. Oh, it just seems like a lot of water, which... Doesn't seem great. I'm not, I'm not sure where the Vercal thing comes in here. Oh, God. I really need to stop doing so poorly here. Okay, this thing's terrible. 
Not a fan of that. We can break walls with this hand as well, which is nice. Got a shop here. Uh, quickly check in case we can trade away max HP. No trades at all in this one. We'll come back to you when we have some money, good sir. Right now, we don't have much to offer. Um, I will buy HP here just in case. Just literally jump on him and smack him with a hand and it does amazing damage. Right, what we got going on in here? Shop discount over the course of a run would be pretty good. Do not touch walls. Little bit, little bit tricky. See now, at the minute, what I'm trying to do is destroy all the walls that are potential threats to me. And it seems to be working out reasonably well right now. This the damage on this thing is crazy good. Oh my god. Dude, the damage on this hand is, is just ludicrous. <laughs> I'm really liking it. Okay, what we got going on here then? We got stronger knockback. Um, let's go with a beacon brush. Maybe I'll build like a bunch of beacon based items because I've never done that before and I feel like that could be an intriguing build. I don't know if it'd be good, but it'd be intriguing. Look at that. Just mullered all of those guys. We got this piece of crap left. Is I wonder what this is for. There's got to be a reason, like, why this gun is like this. Maybe it's like if you, like, land the shots at the right distance or something. Ow. Oh, the boss is here already as well. Wasn't expecting that. Nice. Oh, we got our little thingy there. Okay, we've not got much ammo left for this bad boy right now. But god damn does it hit. Especially if we get like all these blocks hitting as well that it spawns. Right, there you go. He's locked off HP gated now. That's fine. I'd like another weapon. Ooh. I have to take the double boss. I have to take the double boss. Right, there's some health. I was hoping for ammo, really, but health is nice. Right, boss is unleashed now. That is good. Second boss is here. It's the same guy as last time. Just, just chill for a minute, dude. Chill for a minute. I'm going to kill the other boss first. Oh, wait. Oh, the other boss move into your room? I think they did. <laughs> Whoops. Apparently, there is some ammo in here. Down over this way. There, there it is. Look. Awesome. Now, I've just got to hit the right one. And they're both the same boss. It's a little hard. Luckily, it's kind of easy in the, like sort of mix of all the combat to hit um, the random enemies that are in this room too. Okay, I think I just want to focus on the corrupted one because it's got less health and it does worse attacks. I don't really care about losing HP at this point because um, honestly I'm going to get it all back from killing this guy. I mean that was very easy. Oh, you, you've gone buggered away, have you? Oh, look at this guy. He's crying. Poor little fella. Right, where's the other boss going? Is it just it literally you're moving to the room across? Okay. Dude, this thing. I know I keep, I keep using melee and I was just saying I want to use guns, but this thing's incredible, right? Is it just me? Does everyone else know how good this is? Or have I, have, <laughs> have I stumbled onto something here? I'm sure I haven't. I'm sure other people are aware of how good this thing is, right? Does use quite a lot of ammo though, that's obviously the major downside here. Well that was a really, really oh dude, I got double whammied then. My bad. Luckily, like I said, this guy will give us some health and stuff when we beat him. 
it shan't be too far away now, I wouldn't think. Oh, dude, there was another enemy in here that hit me right at the end of that, then. Bullets travel towards the direction you point. Water stomp, faster reload. We'll take that, just in case we do end up working with bullets at some point here. Well, I like the fact that it gives you a little thing there, showing you. Um, we will, of course, still go and revisit the shop. We do have 20, enough to buy one thing from the shop, potentially. Let's see what we've got going on in here. Bullet penetration. Oh, it's 22, are you kidding me? Increase max ammo, hit the jackpot, laser on block. That's really annoying that all of these are 22, especially like the bat boop stomp and the bullet penetration. I mean, I, surely I can get one out of one of the rooms. There must be some detritus I have remaining that I haven't stepped on yet, right? Oh, to be fair, I could take some damage to do it, but I'd rather not. You know, I got some HP out of that, at least. That wasn't what I was planning on getting, but sure is something. Um... There you go, we got enough. Oh, dude, bugger off. Okay, we got enough, we got enough. Good, good, good. Right. We'll go buy the bullets penetrate thing because I'm intrigued by that. That could be very, very good. Uh, right. Let's get ourselves gone into the portal and claim our reward for killing double bosses. So far, so good. So far, so good. Not happy with our other weapon at the moment. I'd really like to replace that with something. So if it gives me a thing where it says get rid of this gun, I certainly will. So first of all, we get some max HP from you. Lovely. And honestly, straight away, I think I want to trade that max HP away. Um, of course it wants me to trade that. God damn it. It always wants you to trade the wrong thing, doesn't it? Right. Trade some max HP away for some of these. Could be good. 200% turning speed. 10% more discount. Um, definitely want that. And then... 10% more discount seems useful overall. Uh, right, let's get her going. Yeah, de definitely I need a, a, a strong weapon now to pair with this interesting setup I have going on with the piercing and bullets following our, uh, our aim. This land. Right now our weapon is useful for it. Useful? Useless. Magic. The power I wish it was useful for it. Heads. do that. Kill both of y'all. Maybe it's somehow good with this setup now. Some HP there. Thank you. Probably should have taken it so early, but there you go. I've done it now. It just wets. And maybe it's something that you want to pair with stuff to like wet an enemy and then uh, like electrocute it or something. I just don't really have the right setup for it. I mean, it's killing stuff. It's just not really doing the damage you'd want it to, is it? Especially for the amount of ammo it has. It's very low ammo. Ain't great. Ooh, ammo there. I'll take that from my goob glove. But I might as well use this while I have it, sort of thing. Oh, the boss is here. Wasn't expecting that. Get out the glove. Gotta be a little careful because the glove is kind of slow. And these enemies are slightly more beefy now, so it's not doing quite as much damage as it was. Ooh, that was a good hit, sir. That was a good hit. Is that everything in this room destroyed? No, still you left. Lovely. Oh, you gave me your gun. Okay. That's that's nice. That's nice. Right. Check out these caves and stuff. This one, we've got beacon-powered machine gun turret. Extremely strong gravity. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll take another beacon upgrade. Extremely strong gravity. Oh, we've got another one of these as well. 
Super Stealther will take that after we've done a bit of this room, I think. HP there's nice. I'm, again, I'm not really using my flower power at all much with this character. I, I realize I ought to more, but it's just kind of hard to remember. Nice. Yeah, beacon power there going on. Our chest is going to give us frog attack during reload. Yeah, we'll take that. Why not? And then the super stealth there, I think I'll take that instead because it's got more ammo. I know the rifle obviously does more damage per hit, but I feel like this will be overall better. And then here, we can go for... Stompable bomb buttons appear. I feel like we have to. Defeated enemies explode to a ring of ice. Okay, look, as long as we jump, it should be fine. Oh god, yeah, this is a little... Oh god. Um, What counted as an enemy there? Something that I killed counted as an enemy that I wouldn't have expected. Oh god, this is a, a hard challenge. Nice. Yeah, look at that. What? Something behind me exploded then. E. Melee lasers is nice. Spooked to shoot faster. Is he a little friend? Yes, he is. Okay. I'll just take him along with me, see what he does. Right, out we go. Reload this bad boy. Keep on pushing forward. Yeah, I kind of want to beef up these these beacons and see see what happens, because I've not really done that before, like I said. Ah, uh, you want my glove? No, thank you. Okay, this thing doesn't have a, 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 a super large amount of range. We're killing stuff pretty fast here, though. That's nice. A sample of bomb buttons. Okay, that's way better. I, I, like, I saw that it was red and I was like, ah, I don't know how bomb buttons could be that good. That's way better than what I was expecting. It's literally just a massive nuke. I thought it was going to drop a few bombs that like detonate after a short amount of time or something. Now, it turns out it's just some mega nukes. This gun's doing a pretty good job with the setup it's got going for it right now. This thing's probably not going to do quite as well um, as it had been before. This computer boss is also kind of tricky, from what I remember. Ah, that wasn't close enough, I thought it was. Ah, ah. These two bosses paired together is actually pretty much okay right now. Yeah, this is still doing a good job. It's not... As good as it was before, but it's still doing a good job. I'm trying to keep them near to the beacon to do more damage to them. I'm a little annoyed that I just took damage there, though. Let's get out of here. Don't know where I can buy HP. I could trade in my hand for HP, but obviously that's not a good idea. Got the pawn area here. Let's be careful, because we're, we are on pretty low HP. And there's plenty of things that can kill me here. Yeah, that guy's just dead, look. Hey. One more for our full buff on this. Oh, dude! I thought I was going to kill him, so I didn't jump, and I ended up having to reload. It was very much my bad. Okay, we're up to full HP almost now anyway, so it's okay. That worked out better than expected. Oh, hello. Okay, there's that. But what's going on here? What's this? You you want... Oh, you... If we pay 20 shards, we can upgrade this. If I give my stealth, we can upgrade this. Eh, it's not ideal. I want to find the shop, really. We've got a decent amount of money here. That bomb explosion is huge. Okay, Super Stealth is completely out of ammo now. Question is, do I get rid of it 
Oh, hurt for like wait for more ammo. I'm gonna get rid of it. Yeah, that's exactly what I was hoping for, and the hope for a additional weapon back. I feel like it was an okay weapon, but there's definitely a lot better out there. Here's our shop, lovely. See what our shop has to offer. That is 25 for the gun turret. I can't really keep those. Beacon poison turrets. That's another beacon turret there that I, I kind of wanted. 24. Um, let's see what we've got going on here. So, two more penetrations is nice. Beacon powered. Okay, let's take that and that. So, we've got our beacons are like super powered now. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It's, it's all we can afford anyways, but one second. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, code messages coming through. Okay, one second. Let me pause the recording again. Oh my god, sorry. Okay, apologies about that. We are good to go. Right. Let's see. The the, the Battler Rattle. Battler Rattle? Battle? It's, it's just called Battle Rattle. Should be pretty good. Oh god, yeah, this thing's awesome. I like it. Right. I'm, I'm intrigued to see how our beacons perform at this stage. Oh yeah, I like this thing. I mean, the ammo consumption on it is pretty hefty. But I like it. Have we been here before? Where haven't we been yet? Okay, we've been everywhere. Let's start taking out some bosses. His health is unlocked now, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Let's try and get him over to... First of all, it's booming. Okay, they're both in here now. Get him over near our turrets and stuff, because... Dude, that bomb did insane damage then. That was ace. Remember, we've got more HP lying around, so we don't have to worry about that too much right now. Dude, that damage is insane. It's awesome. Oh my god, he blip blop flapped me into the other enemy. Get over down to the turret. Wait, wait where's, the, where's the goddamn turret gone? Did they blow it up? Does it blow up after a short time? Wait, what the hell's this? I'm so confused right now. Heal on beacon activation. Beacon soul. I've never seen that before. Is that because my beacon got destroyed or something? Never done seen that before. Anyways, this guy's dead at least. We got him. So I don't know if I can kill this guy or not. Feel a bit mean, but I also want to see if he can die. Right, where's where's my other fella? Boom. <laughs> That's so cool. Right. The goob glove coming at you. Okay, there's another beacon going on here. I'm gonna come a little bit closer to this bomb thing here. Don't know who you're shooting at right now, but fair enough. You do you, I guess. Ha ha ha! You see that? That cooks him into the bomb. Okay, nice and easy does it. Okay, this attack's fine, mate. I've got health on the floor anyways if you hit me. Get over into this turret, boy. Get over into this turret. Boom. <laughs> yes. I love that. Right, so we got 
One more laser, 20% um, higher fire rate, 50% longer range. One more heal. Uh, that, would, that would actually bring that to max level, so I'm going to do that. Whether it be max level, we get a, an extra freebie. Melee weapon shock is obviously nice. Um, faster melee attack. But go faster melee attack. Seems useful. Right. I think we're good to go. I'm liking this beacon thing though. This is cool. I've never, I've never like set up for this before. Works quite well. We fight. We fought two bosses there as well, so we get some max HP here. Rather nice. Honestly, yes. I will also sacrifice you for max HP too, because I. Be honest, I don't really know what you did. Um, and I think I'm gonna go for this guy. We normally pay that after about 15. There you go. Cost 20, but we got there. What do we get for it? We got an upgrade to one of these, so we'll go with the poison one, yeah. We got a gun here that I'm not too sure about. The Mellow Dazzer. Interesting. I think I'll take that. We got one of these, which I don't need to take yet because that'll come down to the next floor with us, I'm pretty sure. Right, let's go. Yeah, that all comes down to the next floor with us. One sec. Righty her. Okay, so we get to we get to keep these. Basically, once we get low on ammo or health, we can take that bad boy. We've also got some health with us there, which is nice. Um, and we can just keep on coming on. Now, I want to see how this mellow days do. How, how how this works? Okay, we've got a shop straight away, which is kind of nice to see. Uh, ooh, three instant upgrade bundles. Now that's pretty awesome. I like the idea behind that. Okay, I'll, I'll be saving up for that. Let's hope we can get enough. I'm sure we will be able to after this stage, to be honest. Honestly, what might be a better idea, actually, now that I think about it, is if I... Let me come over to this. Right. Come back over here. I'm going to actually take this weapon with me and use that weapon for the boss. I think that's a better way of doing it. Because this weapon, with the piercing and stuff, I think will be better. Yeah, it clearly already is much better. The only thing is with this thing, it's ammo. Has to reload quite a lot. Okay, this area is looking good now. Check what's going on here. Another beacon upgrade, maybe? We got, um... Exploding pine cones will spawn and chase you. That's for an upgrade thing. I'll go with that. Goddamn pine cones. Nice. We're killing stuff reasonably quickly here. That's good. Yeah, pine cones are on us again. Oh god, the pine cones are pretty tricky. Oh my god, this thing has to reload every five seconds. It's so annoying. Oh, it's out of ammo. That's why. I'm like, why is this thing not doing anything? Got them out of ammo. Oh, dude, these pine cones. There's so many of them. We got there in the end, but that was. A little difficult. 50% faster respawn. I think I should go for this. This bomb thing's so powerful. Good, good. And then we got... That probably works well with what we've got going on as well. We'll go with that. And then Battle Rattle we'll get rid of now. The Anti-Void Blast. Take it. Okay, let's go. Keep it moving. This thing seems good already. I mean, it's got low ammo, so I expect it to be. Oh, damn it. Like, chases enemies around. We've got a portal here as well, which has got a melee weapon in it, which I'm not particularly enthused about right now. Okay. 
get nice bosses here. It's this bloody horrible looking goddamn thing. <laughs> Nukes him. Oh, goddamn, I hate these little chaser buddies. Right, leave the boss for now. Bosses, not something of our concern. Then this area is a mess. So much clutter. Quickly go and check this out. Them dudes can shoot through walls. Okay. That's good to know. Oh my god. Okay. Let's bring everything a little closer to us. <laughs> and then just nuke it all. I fucking love that. That's so good. The okay, boss is after us again. I'm sorry, boss. You're going to keep chasing me, I realise, but... I'm not interested for now. At least for a little bit. I don't care. I like the fact this destroys all the walls around too. It's nice. The bullets avoiding walls thing is working for our turrets as well. So that's kind of nice. Dude, those, those bombs just down in and kill everything. It's He's back again. I don't care. We got instant upgrade. Um, two different things to get enemies in the right order. Maybe we'll spawn. We'll respawn as void enemies. I'll take that. I'm going to go for upgrade again. I want to go for as many upgrades as I can get here. Okay. Take our time here. Drawing boxes first. Seeing what's in the room. Okay. Cool. Right, let's uh, let's try and round up people. Come on, y'all. There you go. Good amount of damage already. Just wastes less ammo is basically all my thinking is. Yeah, the thingy corrupted enemies can be a little tricky. Once you get him, you get him. They're good. Is that everything? No, you've spawned. The old shield. Okay, we got him. All good. We get an upgrade here. We'll go for... Double bullet wall linger time. Yeah, seems interesting. And then we've got... Is this corrupted? No, this is just all purples. Three instant corrupted max HP. All buttons follow you and poison bullets. This is tricky because bu buttons following us basically makes our bomb buttons way more viable. But we don't have a button build, so I'm going to go for the poison bullets. If we had a button build, I'd go for it. Also, should we trade this in now? It's only got five ammo left because we do have another weapon. Yeah, let's do it. I know this thing's good, but... Yeah, see, that was worth it. Uh, never tumble, less recoil, and melee launch. Uh, expanded block. I don't know what this really means, but I'm going to take it. And then this, all this ammo will come out with us, right? Yeah, good, good. So we could technically fight the boss in this room. If it allows. Is the boss in this room at the minute? No. Okay, keep it going. I need to kill this guy. Dude. And things are so hard to kill. Oh my god. I love that so much. Like one of my favourite items I've ever had in this game, I think. I want to kill one of those dudes one time. house here. We got max HP. Do not move when the traffic light is red. Okay. That includes like doing any attacks, I'm pretty sure. 
I'm going to take some damage in here, but it's going to be worth it. Ah, bugger, I accidentally had an attack going. My bad. Dude, what the fuck's this thing? It doesn't matter anymore. Stop putting it in my face. Damn it, that's a waste of a potential max HP there, but... Hey, her. Unfortunate. Dude, what the fuck? Oh, it lowers you down to... I forgot that if you fail these, it lowers you down to super low HP. Okay, so we might be dead here. Uh, let's let's see what we've got going on. I'm not happy with what I just did there. First of all, let's see whether we've got HP. Oh, thank God. I forgot we had this. That makes me feel a lot better. I forgot we had that. Right. Go through to these rooms here. Okay, boss man, chill it out a little bit. Come on. Got this thing chasing me now. I'm going to leave you be for a hot second, my guy. Let you cool off. Max HP for two random bundles. I've got a lot of max HP right now. It'd be better if I had even more that I would have had, but I think I can take that. Oh, I've got two upgrades as well. That's ace. 25% more poison bullets. 2% more penetrations. 25% more poison bullets seems good. And then, this is a level 3, so we'll go for the level 3. Don't get many level 3s, so it's worth it. Auto-aim bullets, that seems amazing. Right. Then let's go to our shop, wherever that is. We had three upgrade bundles, right? Three times instant upgrade bundles. Anything that's going to be max ranked. Okay, so we definitely want to go for this, and this is max ranked as well. Awesome. For that pleasure we get. Beacons, fire, lasers. Yeah, we'll go for that. And then what do we want here? We want to go... Triples, ball, linger. Beacons boost attack speed. Okay, we've got some beacon stuff going on here that's pretty amazing. Beacon barrage fire one more. 20% longer range. Let's go for that. Pretty happy with that. Right, we've got 64 left. 200% um, turning speed. I think we'll go with that. And that. Fire Stomp. I guess we'll go for that as well, because it's so cheap. Why not? Cool. Okay. Very happy with how that shop went, I'd say. Now it's time for the boss. There's some ammo in here, apparently. There you go. Right, try and keep him near the beacon if we can. I get fa faster attack speed in here too, which is nice. Oh, dude, these fucking chasey shots. Oh, dude, I got hit there, but that went reasonably okay. It's by HP here as well. Where is he? There he is. I think we're doing a pretty good job against this guy, to be honest. What are these little things? Are these enemies that he spawned, I think? Take it easy a minute. Do you want to get any close to this bomb, please, at any point? There you go.
Dude, this this is going well. This beacon setup, boy, it's good. This weapon, whatever it is, is also good. Right, I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. This last stage coming up here? I was just... I can't remember. I think this is last stage coming up here, isn't it? Definitely want to go for this. I don't think I want to go for the, um... This, the... Come on, please pay out. Okay, dude. Nice one. Nice one. Snake bullets... Is snake bullets good? I've had problems with snake bullets in the past. I'm not going to take snake bullets. And I'm just going to leave that with what I've got. Right. Use my goob hand for now. Again. You two are having too much fun. This will never end. Right, this is just the speed through the rooms to clear all the beacons. Boss spawns, that's fine. Honestly, the beacons are going to end up doing some passive damage while I'm clearing everything out. Oh, dude, I fucked myself so royally there. I went into the doorway forgetting I still had to, like, bloody step on the thing. Where is it? Why didn't it let me out then? That was weird. Apparently I stepped on it at some point during all that nonsense. Right. Ugh, that was a bit annoying, but it's okay. We lost a little bit of HP. Dude, it's so annoying. I do it every time I come back to a room. God damn it. Always forget. Okay, and then one more left. I want one with a really central beacon that we're going to fight in. Good enough. Barely know what's going on right now. Oh my lord, dude. This is so hard to follow. Oh, do you know why? Do you know why I'm having such trouble? This fucking computery dude. He's such a difficult boss, followed by the like plant guy. Okay, we got it. We got oh, we only got one HP back after that. Uh, I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Only getting one HP back after that does not fill me with confidence. Oh, more HP. I didn't realize I'd be getting more. Okay. I need to get over here near this. For the fire rate boost, but all the damage as well. Oh, this fucking attack. Need some ammo over here. Grab that real quick. Back over here. Oh god. I didn't realize it was this attack. I love the, the like the way this final boss works though, it's so cool. I hated it at first because it was just so overwhelming, but once you understand the bosses and stuff and kind of get it, it makes a lot more sense. Also, be people have been telling me I need to stomp on this guy more. I've been trying that and it doesn't need to do anything. Jeez, like look. Stunned. I'm jumping on it now, like stomping on it, and Oh, 
The portal remains stubbornly closed. Maybe I have to do it enough times. The has denied your entry. They just keep saying, giving me different lines. A solid obstacle, destined to be shattered. That's destined to be shattered, but yeah. Maybe it's something I can do by exploring the rest of this floor because I haven't really done that. But I don't know. Maybe if I clear the entire floor of enemies? But yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I honestly just don't really know. I'm just kind of guessing at this point. There seems to be much else here. This beacon thing, this beacon strategy was good though. I definitely am going to value the beacon upgrades a little more now. They did a good job. But yeah, see, I've like cleared everything on this floor. If anyone knows what I need to do to open that up, let me know. Because at the minute I just have absolutely zero clue what it's required. Like what it's asking of me. Like it always just says... Impenetrable. Yeah, just oh, no. impenetrable for now. I don't know what that means. Anyways, let's exit the world. Another good run. A very fun one as well. I'm really enjoying these runs we've been getting going on at the minute. I feel like we've been able to do some really diverse things episode to episode as well. Either way, I hope you guys are still enjoying the series because I very much am. I'll head back to camp and we'll end off the episode there by the looks of it. Hope oh, we got another one of these cracked open by the looks of it. Maybe it's once I get this done. Whoa! A reminder that they are true champions. Huzzah! Yeah, so maybe once I get like these two done, which are going to take a lot longer, this will open and then I can start, I can get through that impenetrable barrier. But for now, I don't really know. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys in the next one.